a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord. They didn't want to hear him talking about the word of God. No more. They cried out. This is what they cried out. Go ahead. And cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet whose name was Saul. So that's Paul now. Paul was right there. The one that wrote the New Testament, he read that with him. And he was one of the ones that killed a lot of Israelites. A lot of them. He persecuted us more than anybody else in this Bible. But he became one of the, the main writers of the New Testament. But Paul, which is Saul, was there. Go ahead. Verse 59. And they stoned Stephen, calling upon God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Yes, sir. And he knelt down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not this sin to their charge. Mm. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. Uh, took him right there. He took his breath from him and fell asleep. I don't think I would say that though. I said, kill them all! Don't go stone me like that. <laughs> Boy, that was, I mean, I'm telling you, dude, if you want to know how Israel managed rose, read that Acts chapter 7 and understand that. Go to the last one. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 1. I just want to show y'all, you're not saved just because you have a lot of knowledge. You're not saved just because you got a lot of knowledge of the Word of God. But if you use it the right way, you can preserve your life. You can preserve it. Uh, believe me, I'll be biting my tongue left and right dealing with people. When you go and vent one to another and just say, Hey, can you believe this cat said this? And we just go laugh about it because we understand the scriptures. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 1. That way to preserve it. This how you preserve it. Go ahead. The preparations of a heart and man, and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. When he said preparation of the heart, he's not talking about your, your chest, he's talking about your mind. Mm -hmm. You got to prepare yourself mentally through these scriptures so you'll know the game plan. Just like when we played football, we had the game plan of what or how we're going to defend certain plays. So when you read this book, this book is like you learn plays. It's the game plan, how to learn how to attack or drop off. You know what I'm saying? That like we know in football, we certain, certain, certain formation, we got certain people blitzing. And we got certain people in third down, we dropping off. But the thing is, you got to know when to speak about the word of God, and when to just say, that's a fool, let me leave him. Mm -hmm. And walk away. But you got to prepare your mind mentally for this. Go ahead. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the spirit. Ain't that the truth? All the ways of a man is clean in his eyes. Like I tell you all the time, because it feels good to you, they don't always do it for you, man. It clings to you, but you hurt somebody else. That's why we need the Lord. But the Lord, He's going to weigh every spirit, weigh the spirits, meaning that your words that are coming out your mouth. He's going to judge you for every word that comes out your mouth and my mouth. Go ahead. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. That's how we got to have a cane plan. We got to understand what. Instead of wearing that little wristband with WWJ, what would Jesus do? You need to understand, read this book and understand what would he do. Instead of wearing a little band or a cross or whatever they put out there in the world. This is how you learn what Jesus does. You read and you understand. Go ahead. The Lord has made all things for himself. Yes, sir. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Ooh. See, I understand, like we were talking before y'all got here about how the Lord do this wickedness. Satan is a, he, he worked for God. I keep telling you for that, he worked for him. He used him to carry out all this, all this, all this uh, pain of the world. God ain't gonna get his hand dirty. All right, Satan, so go ahead and do what you do. I tell you when to stop. Bottom line. But y'all get so much, people get so much credit to Satan, like he got a kingdom or something. 
God run it all now. He just allows Satan to do certain things. Go ahead, brother. Verse 5. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Mm. Though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. You got a lot of people got a lot of pride. Like, like a lot of pride. Don't be proud of your proud of your mind. Like can't nobody tell you nothing. Or can't nobody instruct you or correct you. That's when you go wrong. So take these instructions where the word of God is telling us how to handle the unbelievers so you can preserve your life. You become at peace with your enemies. Go ahead, brother. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. And by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. Yes, sir. Fear. Fear. You got to fear. Most folks say, well, you need to just put love right there. A lot of these Bibles, they put love right there. The NIV. Don't be reading the NIV. That's Keep right. the King James. Now. Right. They replace all these stuff. Absolutely. Come on, just put God don't want you to fear him. Yes, he do. He wants you to fear him. God, if you don't fear him, this is what we have in the world today. It's a whole bunch of sin. Go ahead, bro. When a man ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. You see what I'm saying? When you ways please the Lord, your enemies are at peace with you. Why? Because you followed the instructions of the playbook. Hmm. You got out the way. Amen. You left him alone. You left her alone. Crazy. And now they're going to say, you know what? Jeff, all right, you know, he, he'll tell you the truth, but I ain't going to bother him. He good people. He's still happy. That's how you want people uh, uh, to come to you. Not saying, man, I ain't going out this way. I do right there. All they're going to do is just talk bad about me, embarrass me, and all this stuff. And I was on both sides of that. I used to get you, boy. I used to get you real bad. I had to learn how to control this, this M16 right here. I was shooting it without any training. And I was blowing all these four heads off. <laughs> so I got some training now, or uh, develop a little tact. Know when to say something, when not to say something. That's right. So, I hope y'all enjoyed the lesson and understanding how to shake the dust off your feet and keep it rolling. Yes, sir. We're going to stand, we're going to close it out. Tell them one time. Tell them one time.